YouTubers, without any further ado, this is the system that is finished. Some minor cosmetic uh, changes will uh, appear, but this is how it will work. Uh, in the bottom, I have the tank with water, the fish come in there, the pump in the corner pumps up into this container. The water uh, goes through the pipes, goes up, so you build up water pressure and it will uh, just uh, moisten or wetten all these hydrogen uh, beads and you can plant your plants in there just like normal aquaponics. There is no siphon in here, no bell siphon, the water just trickles down and in the bottom there is a mesh and then it will just drain directly into that pipe into the bucket. So the water level stays constant, that's better for the fish and uh, the plants get uh, the nutrients uh, with the moisture and the air and that's better also. So let's plug in the device and see what it does. Okay, you can watch it as the pressure builds up and there we go. We've got it running. As you can see, the water level stays like this. The water, uh, water just uh, trickles down. You can see it aerate. And that's it, it's running and it works. Now all we have to do is plant some plants in there. You can see how the water is nicely, evenly dispersed across the bed of hydrogen. And if you plant your plants, alongside the pipes on either side they get enough fluids nutrients and air because the water just drains away and that's it this will work perfectly no doubt about it it works better than i hoped uh, in uh, in dispersing all the water it's well pretty awesome i have to say i uh, put these pipes on here uh, at first it was just this uh, bend but the bend overflowed and uh, because there isn't a pressure build up the um, how do you say it, the water beams weren't that this big when i put in these pipes uh, the water uh, rises to about here and that creates uh, a back pressure also so the pressure in this system creates a nice even flow and uh, should uh, uh, something clog up and overflow I made an indentation so the water can come over here and just trickle down back into the bucket. No harm done. If uh, one of these holes uh, ever should clog up, just get a needle, poke it and you're good to go again. You can see how uh, easy it is to watch it when it's uh, going bad so you can fix it. Actually I don't think that you need anything to do with this system. This will run forever. That's the idea at least. Well, I put wheels underneath it. <laughs> One of the subscribers uh, thought that was a good idea, so I did it. And I can roll it around. And that's a lot easier than lifting it. Okay, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this clip. So this is the new aquaponic system that I will be uh, placing in my garden. And testing out how, uh, well, how good uh, the, the, the fruit yield is, or the vegetable yield is. What I also want to do, and I will probably make that uh, the, the next days or month or whenever I have time, I will place standards in here and uh, make a roof on top of this, uh, a transparent roof, something like this stuff. I don't know if you can see it, it's pretty light uh, transparent and I want to place it on top of this to protect the system from weather. Okay, so this is the system for now. I hope you enjoy. Thumbs up and uh, well, I'll keep you posted if I build anything new. Alright, see ya.